With global price rises and inflation affecting every single market, some would argue that this is the best time to invest. Most of those being wealthy people who still have the luxury of being able to gamble with investments. A buyer's market. Buy the dip, right? If we look at it from another angle, is it a gamble in investing in a field if the field is your own backyard? I mean, you know your way around your own backyard. Allow me to do some speculating for you. Alright, I'm Cohen and today I'm going to talk to you about the Rolex I bought from Chrono24 earlier this week. Joking, that's not what I'm going to talk to you about today. But I did buy a Rolex from Chrono24 and I am going to talk about it next week. So please subscribe and even like or leave a comment. Thanks, watch fam. I'll reveal the Rolex I purchased once I've talked about why you, maybe, should buy one too. Taking a quick look at some of the desired five-digit Rolex watches on Chrono24. By five-digit, I mean Rolex watches with five-digit reference numbers, mainly manufactured in the 90s and early 2000s. Fact. Chrono24 is an overpriced site. But for good reason. People pay more for the watch they exceedingly desire. But even if the site is overpriced, there are still quite a few bargains to get your hands on if you know where and how to look. My best advice is an unpopular one. Patience and homework. If you have your mind set on a watch, you need to know what to look for. I mean, is box and papers important to you? Can you live with a few scratches? Do you want to service it yourself? Are you okay with the replaced parts and or polishing? When your checklist is prepared, save a search, receive notifications and follow the watch model over time. Eventually, you'll figure out what a good deal is for your preferred watch model. That's what I did and still do. A lot of my dream watches are five digit Rolex models. Let's have a look at price changes on a few of them. The Explorer 2 16570, one of my current watch list watches, had an average sales price of above $9,500 in December 2022. Speaking in late January 2023, the average price is $9,000, down $500. The Submariner 16610, averaged just below $17,000 in December 2022, while currently averages a pinch above $11,000, down above $5,000. The GMT Master II 16710, averaged at $14,500 in December and is currently at $14,000, down $500. The last two models mentioned average price during the summer of 2022 was $1,000 above today's average price. Interesting, right? Steady dropping. So, is it the right time to pull the trigger? Personally, I don't want to give advice, but I can share my opinion and maybe you already figured as I revealed fragments initially. I purchased a Rolex from Chrono24 earlier this week. I'll review it compare it, unbox it, and tell you all about my experience later. I did trace down a decent deal, but that was an odd one out kind of thing. But at the same time, I interpret it as a sign for which way things are headed. I feel the market for Rolex is still going down. So my advice to you is get ready. Start your homework and prepare yourself to do something big. Personally, I'm on the fence and awaiting more of the right opportunities myself, as I think bargain deals will occur during the upcoming spring season. To put it in plain text, I'd wait a couple or a few months. So that's it for today's vid. Teasing! 
The watch I bought is a Rolex Explorer 114270. And as I said, I'll tell you everything about the watch and process, I promise. Thanks for holding on to the end. Catch you in the next one, watch fam.